to my channel. Today I'm in a different location, temporarily though. If you can't tell by the title, I'm gonna be doing a room tour. I just wanna say before this video, um, I know my room isn't extravagant. I know people say that all the time in their room tour video videos. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's a word. I know people say that all the time in their room tour videos and then like they show you their room and it's like the prettiest room you've ever seen. Obviously my room's not gonna be like professionally decorated or anything like that. I like it, I think it's cozy and it fits kind of my style. Messy aesthetic, <laughs> that's what we're going for. So let's get on with the tour. <laughs> okay, MTV Cribs, roll it. Right here is my little entry type thing. It's like a little bit of a hallway almost. Um, I have this arrow to the door with Polaroids and as you can see one is missing, but I didn't really feel like putting up a new one, so. <laughs> That's what you're getting. I don't really have much else to say. I have a lot of wall space over here that's still not decorated. You'll see in the next clips. As I was saying, I have this really big wall that has absolutely nothing on it. I have no idea what to put here. I was thinking about doing a gallery wall, but I have no money, so. <laughs> Coming directly from the wall, or the wall, Coming directly from the hallway, we have the bed right here. This is probably, not probably, but this is my favorite part of the room. It's comfortable, it's great, it's awesome. Okay, so the thing about my bed, I'm not sure what you would call it. I guess like a dream catcher almost, but I actually made this myself. I basically just went outside and snapped a branch off of a tree and then just used twine and fake eucalyptus. I think it looks good and kind of like urban-y. <laughs> that makes sense, urban outfitters -y, I don't know. So next to that is probably the ugliest part of my room though because it's, it's just, it's an ugly fan. Like it's a fan from Target that's just gross. Um, but I have a candle in there because I tried to, you know, <laughs> make it less ugly. And I also have some books that I occasionally read. Um, also above that, I have some old Vogue covers they're like miniature ones though because I cut them out from a like Vogue collector's item magazine. And above that I have a hat. This is basically like the focal point of my room and I really like it because I don't know, I just think it really ties my room together. But this tapestry is from Urban Outfitters. I ordered it, I would say two summers ago, but I'm pretty sure you can probably find something that looks like it. My little clothing wall, if you will, I guess my wardrobe station. I guess you could call it. Um, this clothing rack is from Ikea. I ordered it online. It was $10. It kind of just adds something. I don't know, I really like it. Um, above that, I have two hats that I tried to fill up wall space with. And here's a mirror too. I got this from Ikea as well. But basically on my clothing rack, I tried to go from dark to light colors. Um, I kind of did it, not really, I don't know. Um, so if you're coming from the window, I have this little station over here. I don't really know what you would call this, but it's just a little nice area, so that's always a good time. I don't even need to say it because everyone has this. It's the Alex Nine drawers from Ikea. I got this sign, and I bought this at the Brandy Mobile store in Santa Monica. I don't know if, how I feel about it. Like, I don't know, because it kind of reminds me of, like, 2013 Tumblr, like the Acacia Brindley phase. But then again, it's cute and rustic, so I think I'm just gonna keep it up. It's true, okay? Love is my, okay, I just stop. I have this wall right here that I DIY'd once again, um, because I am Bethany Moda. <laughs> oh, that was gross. And I literally just taped them up with scotch tape. I don't know, it's probably one of my favorite parts of my room, so if you're looking for a nice way to fill wall space, I would recommend. Um, I just want to address <laughs> Mr. Harvey right here. My fall morning routine got a lot of views and I would say majority of the comments were literally commenting about how I had a Steve Harvey head in my door. The reason this is here not only is because he's my trap queen, but also because I was on vacation and my friends broke into my house and taped like 20 Steve Harvey pictures all around my room. Good times. So this is my shrine. I give him a kiss every day. Here, this is the, the wall that we started with. That's basically my room. This angle is really weird, but I'm just outroing the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, that's good. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you guys got inspiration from this video. Yeah, just 
subscribe if you want to. People don't say that in outro videos, but like if you want to, you can. I don't really know. Um, other than that, I hope you guys are having a really great day or night or whenever you're watching this. And of course, I will see you next Sunday, maybe next time, next whenever. Okay, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye. Yeah.